The live events industry is among those hit hardest in Central Florida and across the nation because of the pandemic. Whether you worked in a grocery store, a hospital, or police, or whatever, people still do go to work. But we were done. New at 4.30, how industry workers are pushing to get themselves and their families more help. Without a vaccine, unlike other jobs, the live event industry is no closer now to restarting, let alone recovering. And today, Channel 9's Angela Jacobs learned how a push for federal relief for workers is heating up. Everybody loves music. When I hear music, I see lights or I see colors, and, and uh, I've always felt that way. And it runs through the soul of Charles Cosmo Wilson, whose live show lighting and ambiance skills landed him on nonstop tours for rockers like Aerosmith, ACDC, and dozens of iconic bands. Through thousands of shows, he is one of the top award-winning lighting directors in the world. There's not many things you can do in your life where everybody around you is smiling and laughing and dancing. I mean, it's an amazing, that's my passion for it, is just the response from the people who are just so joyous. Born and raised in Central Florida, his passion took him across the globe until the 2020 pandemic. While his expertise landed him as a contractor on the team for the 9-11 anniversary, other work for himself and the majority of his industry colleagues is gone. You're talking about people inside that work the arenas, you know, you know, from, from the chair setters to the food service workers to the stagehands and, and bus drivers, truck drivers, you know, promoters. You know, and just everybody, it just stopped. It's why Wilson's part of an industry coalition urging Congress to pass the Restart Act to benefit small businesses, as well as additional relief for displaced workers, extending and expanding federal pandemic unemployment compensation. Right now, as big stadiums to small halls sit empty, the relief packages are stalled on Capitol Hill. Today, we saw venues in Orlando also affected in this, supporting the fight. They say there's 10 million of us that work in, in this business. So there's a lot of people out of work and a lot of money that's not coming into our hands and into the economy because of this. And the hope is with the election settled, there are no politics in the way of this relief. The next chances for it to pass are November 24th and December 12th. In Orlando, I'm Angela Jacobs, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And back on September 1st, this group held what they called Red Alert to support the restart bill, turning buildings across the county, including here in Orlando, red to raise awareness and support for this much-needed relief package.